Hi ladies, so good evening. Um, this is just going to be a short intro video into my weight loss vlogging. Vlogging? Is that how you say it? I think that's how you say it. I'm new to this. Um, that I'm going to be starting on Tuesday. Um, so I just want to give a quick background and just kind of like why my weight's been kind of a struggle the last couple years. And um, then on Tuesday I will start my first video by doing a weigh-in with you guys when I wake up on Tuesday and we just go from there, right? And I'll just kind of film throughout the day and then I will post it at the evening time before bed. And I will be doing a couple of the um, vlogging videos a couple times a week, but I'll be doing a weigh-in once a week. And I will not be weighing myself that whole week, so you guys get to see how much I have lost when I see it and get to see my reaction as well. My goal is five pounds a week and my goal is to be down to a 135 by the end of June. Okay, so right now I am at, well, when I weighed myself last week, um, I've been struggling for the last couple years with this, and then um, I lost a good amount of weight almost two years ago, and we'll get into that here in a minute. And then around the holidays, I just kind of slipped up a little, and then went back to back on track with you know my weight loss and my you know staying active and then I slip up then go back like it's just been constant like that since around November um, but this time it's it's gonna happen um, I gained back 15 pounds out of the um, amount that I lost almost two years ago so I have that 15 left to lose plus I think it was like 20 I, something like that um, whatever the math may be from what I weigh now to um, getting down to 135 but when I weighed myself last week, I was 175. Um, I've never been this big other than my second pregnancy with my youngest. I was on bed rest off and on for about seven, eight months, pr pretty much my whole pregnancy, and extremely depressed. So other than this, never weighed this much at all. Um, my husband loves me regardless of my weight, but I just really started to not love myself. And that's a big thing for me. It's not just the want to be skinny want to look good obviously I do I want to look good I want to be skinny again I want to feel better about myself on the outside because I know I'm a good person on the inside but I feel like that all just reflects you know and coincides who you are inside who you are outside type of thing um, and health wise as well I want to be healthy and I want to um, put good things into my body and I want to give that example to my children as well okay so Growing up, you know, I, I mean, I was kind of a big baby. I was almost nine pounds. So I was like, chunky when I was a kid. But as I got older, I was skinny. I was, you know, high school, junior high, and all of that. It was the kind of short. I'm 5'4", so I'm a little short person. <laughs> and um, I didn't weigh a lot, you know. Um, all through that, even when I got pregnant with my first child, I still didn't weigh that much. I only gained 30 pounds during that pregnancy and I lost it pretty fast, you know. Um, then I got pregnant, like I said, with my youngest, gained a lot of weight. I got um, 205 is what I got to when I um, was done pre being pregnant with her. And then when I had my first doctor's visit, I was 195 after having her. Um, but I worked really hard, like really hard after that. And I think a big reason that is I had a toddler I was chasing, I had a newborn and I was breastfeeding. So that weight came off within six months and I got back down to 150. I feel like 135, I, I've been there, I've been smaller than that. Um, when I lost all the way from my first daughter, I kind of got addicted. So I'm trying to be really careful not to overdo the exercise and the weight loss um, and not get too obsessed with the scale and the numbers and all of that as well, calorie counting and all that. Cause that's, I got, I went way too far the first time and I got down to 115. Um, that's too small for me, especially my height. Not, I looked bad, honestly. I didn't look good and I didn't feel good because I looked too small. I've been at 135. I got down to 150 with my youngest. Um, and then I kind of just stopped like working at it, but still made sure that I was still eating right and getting exercise. And I got down to 135. I feel like that's where I feel comfortable and I feel like I look good and it's a good weight for me so that's why that's my target weight um and then um I honestly don't know when my my mom got um addicted to pain meds I can't really say like when I feel like she did 
um, but she did. And she passed away almost two years ago from that. And during the, like, I want to say a year and a half or two years of her life, I feel like her addiction became my addiction. And so I was chasing a high, you know, by trying to save her. And I just let go of myself. I stopped caring what I look like and just gained a bunch of weight. And then when she passed away, she passed away in June of 2018. And then August of 2018, you know, I just, I don't know, I looked at myself and my kids one day and I'm like, I can't do this to them. Like, I'm an adult and it was the most painful thing to go through. It, it was hard as an adult. I, I, I can't even get into like that night because it, sorry guys. I can't like it's, it's too painful to even still talk about right now like when I got that phone call and went to a house and what I saw and that whole night at the hospital like it's just too much but I can't imagine the way I felt and then having to tell my kids the next day who have always been so close to Nana which is what they called my mom um so I can't imagine like how they felt and it was so hard to tell them and I was just like, I can't, like, I'm going to leave my kids too young. My kids are 13 and 10 now. They were younger when my mom passed away. It's been almost two years. This June, June 26th of this year would be two years. And I just thought, I can't do that to them. You know, I can't leave them. I can't leave my husband. So I started dieting. I started working out. I, I, I did so good. I was doing so good. And I lost 60 pounds. When I started, um... I honestly don't remember how much I weighed, but a lot bigger than I am now. Um, I mean, to the point that I wore baggy shirts and leggings, that's all I wore to cover up my body. And my um, problem area is my stomach. I have been up and down in my weight, and so I've got that extra skin. I have had two kids, and I had two C-sections. Um, I did have my stomach pretty toned up between, you know, after I lost the weight with both of them, but then the weight, like I said, would be up and down periodically throughout the year. So, um, I am going to start focusing probably in a couple of weeks. Like I said, I want to take it slow. So probably in a couple of weeks, I'll start, um, looking at what are good exercises to tone up my stomach. So if anyone has any good ideas, uh, some good exercises to help tone that stomach, to tighten up that extra skin, please comment down below because I will take any advice from anybody. Um, it's, I'm not just wanting to drop weight. I want to feel better about my stomach because everywhere else I'm not really that conscious about. Like I'm okay with other parts of my body. It's the stomach that I really want to tone up and feel better about. Anyways, um, and then I lost 60 pounds and I felt amazing. Like I felt great. Like this last summer, I even wore little crops and I, I even with my stomach having that extra skin I, I could tell that it was shrinking but obviously when you lose weight you're going to gain more of that extra skin too but I was also working a little bit on it not as much um so I'm going to try harder to work on that part um this time around but like I said I'm going to take it slow start out slowly um not all at once because my husband's a little afraid that it's you know that I'm going to do too much and burn out too too fast as well um so I did that and then I don't know just around the holidays it's just things were hard with my mom's death and then I've mentioned in a few videos I haven't talked too much about it but my girl's dad he has suffered for years with addiction when we were together it was starting that's one reason why um, we divorced and he lost custody about two years ago so right before my mom passed when actually when she passed he was in jail he got some drug charges and it was just a lot between my mom's death you know, having to tell the girls every time he messed up and would go back to jail and then be put, you know, accepted into drug court and then he messed that up and went to prison until this past September. Like, having to break their heart and me and my husband being the ones to have to tell them and break their hearts, it, it was a lot. It was a lot of stress. And I am someone who eats my emotions away. So I just gained and I would lose again because I'd get back on track, gain, get back on track. Um, so what I want to get out of all of this is just feel good, look good. I want to like, I don't want to eat my feelings away anymore. You know, I, I'm scared of food at times and I don't want to be that person. And I don't want to be that example to my children. I don't want to be the example of someone who's afraid of food. I don't want to be the example of someone who eats their emotions and doesn't deal with them. Like what kind 
a mother am I if I'm telling my kids to talk to me, talk to my husband, talk about your emotions, don't hide them, all all those things that you tell your kids if you're doing it too. It's just, you can't, right? Like, I feel like a hypocrite if I do that. So I just want to get back to loving myself again. And I mean, I do in a way, but I, I felt very disappointed that I let myself go again and I gained some of this weight back. So that's kind of the background. Um, I didn't go into a lot of debt because there's a lot of other stuff in my past that, but we don't need to get into all of that, right? Um, I just want to give you guys a little background and have this be like introduction to my vlogging. So like I said, Tuesday will be my first one. So please um, subscribe. If you just happen to run into this video, please subscribe to my channel. I would love for you to be on this journey with me. I do other videos as well. I do beauty, I do clothing, um, I do stuff with my kids. So please subscribe so you can go on this journey with me and leave any any advice any in the comments section for me at all. Um, I take anybody's advice, good or bad. Um, if you think, you know, after a couple of my weigh-ins that I'm not working as hard as I should, by all means put that in my comments. You know, honestly, I need someone to push me, be like, you can do harder, push harder, or if you think I'm pushing too hard or losing too much too fast, let me know. Because like I said, kind of in the middle of this video, I don't want to get to the point that I was when I lost the weight after my first and get too obsessed either. So like I said, you'll be seeing a couple um, videos throughout the week of just like my weigh in the once a week and then just kind of show like, unless I'm at work and I can't show you what I'm doing at work and trust me it's pretty physical I work at the Walmart here in my town in the garden center and it's a very physical job so I'm on my feet a lot I'm lifting a lot of heavy stuff so I'm definitely getting some good workout at work which is exciting um we I'm taking at least two two three walks a week with my kids we started that last week um so I'll probably go ahead and do a little bit of videoing when we're doing that um, just kind of, you know, throughout, like, all my days off, I'll probably have more footage for you guys because I'll be home doing more stuff, but just kind of want to document my journey and feel like I want to share it with all you lovely people, uh, mostly ladies. I think I have a few guys on my channel. I don't remember. I think it's mostly ladies. Um, I just want to share it with you guys, um, and, you know, maybe inspire someone. Maybe someone's out there looking at a YouTube video like I did once on exercise and weight loss, and come and find my channel and find me to be an inspiration to them and they can, it can help them um, get on their journey whether it's get back on track or whether it's trying to push themselves to even start the starting is the hardest part for me I don't know anyone else out there who um, does weight loss or has tried weight loss um, that's the hardest part for me maintaining it hasn't been really that hard for me it's starting when you first start out um, and then, like I said, I was doing great. I maintained it great. I lost 60 pounds. I did great for almost a year. And then, like I said, I ate my feelings away again when things got rough around the holidays. Um, but, so, yeah. So, this is just a little introduction. It went a little longer than I wanted it to. But I want to thank you all for watching this. And, like I said, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And the ones who are subscribed, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And watch out on Tuesday night for that first vlog video. I'm super excited to get myself weighed in. Remember I said I was 175 last Tuesday, so we will find out in two days how much I weigh now. And lots of water. Drink lots of water. That it, one downfall of mine is soda. I do allow myself one, one soda a day. That's it. Other than that, I drink a ton of water. So, alright ladies, thanks for watching and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Bye!